Developing centers of influence is the preferred marketing strategy of most ultra high net worth advisors and teams today. These are the advisors and teams that bring in 25, 50, $100 million per year. Now, experience has taught me that most wealth management teams are familiar with the strategy and the concept. First, connect with several CPAs and attorneys, then send over some referrals, and of course, there is nothing reciprocated. All it ends up doing is costing you a bunch of your time. But the reality is, time and persistence are where the proverbial rubber meets the road in this marketing strategy, and I'll show you how the top advisory teams do it. First, you need to identify the top COI targets in your marketplace. Make a list, 50 to 60 different names. Make the list big, make the list full of important centers of influence because you're gonna be working this list for years because it takes time to develop these relationships. Next, look for potential introductions to these centers of influence from your personal network. This is a great opportunity to use your LinkedIn profile to see where there might be some connections. Next, if you identify any of those potential referral sources, shoot them an email. And this is what the email looks like. In the subject line, just put the name of the center of influence that you are targeting. And then say something as simple as this. It was brought to my attention that you know Jane Smith over at XYZ CPAs. I would love to connect with her as she is one of the best in her field. Would you mind making an email introduction? Now I've learned from experience that this email takes a lot of time for advisors to write. There tends to be some stress and anxiety over it. Keep it this simple. Next, if you're not able to get a referral into a COI that you're targeting, write a cold email. The cold email, while it is not that effective, does have some marketing utility. The cold email looks like this. Again, keeping it simple, I know that you are inundated with solicitations from financial advisors just looking for referrals. Experience has taught me that professionals in your position typically need a couple of referral partner options to avoid conflicts, and I thought it may make sense for us to try and connect. Keep it simple. The idea is just to get your name in front of them. Now, if the referral doesn't work, a cold email doesn't work, it gets down to doing it the old fashioned way, lobbing a phone call in before hours or after hours to avoid the gatekeepers. The call, just as simple as the cold email. Hey, I just wanted to see if it made sense for us to connect. And then step five, this is the most important, repeat the process until you're able to secure that first meeting. Most advisors, all of your competition practically, stop after they don't get a response. But if you can keep going, you can start to cultivate some of those relationships. Now, when you get that first meeting, make sure you keep the first meeting short, you're probably going to promise to keep it to five minutes or less because the goal is just to get the next meeting. When you're in the next meeting, provide a solution to a problem that you strategically uncovered in that first meeting because you probably already knew the challenges that were faced by these centers of influence if they're CPAs or attorneys. Also, offer to provide a free financial plan for the COI or any of their clients. In the third meeting, try and give an example of the type of plan that you can perform and then get the information for it in the third meeting and then in the fourth meeting, deliver the whole plan and show the capabilities of your firm. 